It is a breathtaking sight to behold, even in the dark of night, even in the pouring rain, the ongoing reconstruction at the World Trade Center site here in Lower Manhattan. Take a look. But now a new report claims to expose the ugly underside of the reconstruction, and they say it comes out at lunchtime. Less than one month away from the 10 year anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks, and now this reports that construction workers at the World Trade Center construction site are boozing it up on the job. The signs outside the World Trade Center site read safety first, and our number one priority is to send our workers home safe to their families. But according to a shocking report surfacing in the New York Post, workers are putting themselves and the entire project at risk by getting loaded up with liquor at lunch, beer, whiskey, vodka. According to the paper, it's happening at bars. Amos Irish bar and restaurant and Uncle Mike's both on Murray Street downtown. Well, I guess if they're drunk at, the, at work that's probably dangerous and there probably are laws against that so I'm not really sure what the controversy is if there are people are showing up at work drunk that's probably a bad idea and like you know Maybe they should go after work. The New York Post reports the workers are taking liquid lunches at the local bars, then, according to the paper, stumbling back to their dangerous jobs inebriated. Even with the construction effort running around the clock and buildings rising rapidly, the Post reports they've spotted two dozen workers heading north from the site at lunchtime to get inside two Murray Street bars. It would shock me if construction workers who theoretically need to be you know, straight when they're working, or so should everyone, um, I'd be shocked. I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it almost, but, and I, and I haven't heard that happening at all. When I asked, a worker at one bar would not come on camera, but he spat venom at the post and denied World Trade Center workers are bellying up to the bar and getting loaded on their lunch breaks. A Port Authority spokesman told the paper the agency has a zero tolerance policy. Calls to unions representing those workers seeking comment were not immediately returned. Reporting tonight from Lower Manhattan, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News.